Star Rail. Miss Topaz, if you need somewhere comfortable to stay. Ah, I appreciate the offer, but I need to head back and deliver my reports. It's been great getting to know you both. I hope we can work together again in the future. Only next time under better circumstances. So I gotta head to the hotel and get some sleep, huh? I don't like going to the hotel. What if I become late. under arrest Where's again? Again, like I had said with Topaz, I'm waiting for a moment where she is alone to actually see if she is redeemable. I've been wondering, how did you figure out what was happening here on Bellabog, Himeko? <laughs> well, you know, keeping an eye on the crew is just another part of a navigator's job. Hmm. So it is. March was looking forward to the Soul Warm Festival for ages. Looks like she's missed her chance this time. I never thought this trip would be so <sighs> tiring. Time for bed. Uh, every time you sleep here, there's trouble. All right, let's see. Redeemable. In light of the events that have transpired, we will be taking the following disciplinary measures against you. Okay, for one, you're just the higher up. Why is your voice all... Well, what are you doing here? Why do you get to hide your identity like this? Your rank will be demoted from P45 to P44 with corresponding adjustment to your basic salary. All bonuses for the current cycle will be revoked, including stock options and performance bonuses. That's not too bad. You went down, like, by one. You, that's ju it's just one. <laughs> that could have been much worse. You will need to submit an additional report regarding this incident to Diamond. If you have any objections to this penalty, you may also file an appeal in writing. I have no objections. Understood. Is there anything else anyone would like to add? If there are no further remarks, this meeting is concluded. Why did you need to... Uh. Huh. Uh, you only got demoted one rank? Phew, you dodged a bullet there. Pretty big project to mess up on. Someone must be looking out for you. Oh, they've already left the call. Ugh, this voice changer is driving me crazy. Let me turn it off. Why did you need a voice changer? Adventurine, why are you still on the line? Hey, what's with the hostility? It's not like I'm your boss. Oh, wait. I guess I am now. <laughs> my apologies. I'm still getting used to my new place in the hierarchy. Can I help you? If you've got something to say, say it already. Oh, nothing important. Just checking in on you. I told you Urillo 6 would be a high-risk, low-reward case. Why do you even bother? In our line of work, having a kind heart can be more of a liability than an asset. If you're not careful, you'll end up leading yourself down a dead-end road. Anything else? If not, I'm hanging up. Wait. Hold on a minute. Don't hang up. I get it. You're not in the mood for this conversation right now. Okay. How about this? Something that might interest you. 
While you were enjoying your playtime on Urillo 6, Diamond was busy taking care of the head honcho of the Building Material Logistics Department. That's why he didn't attend today's meeting. A... Terravan? That's right. The renowned Terravan. One of the seven board members. He's throwing his support behind us instead of the Marketing Development Department for once. <laughs> Oswaldo won't be laughing anymore. Diamond's been a great help to both of us. Your antics on such a crucial day can't exactly have painted the Strategic Investment Department in a good light, you know? <laughs> Since you get the point, let's get down to business. I'm currently at Pierpoint. There's a major deal that could affect the whole department. I just so happen to need a reliable project manager for the job. What do you say, old friend? Huh. And what prompted the mighty Aventurine to start collaborating with others? Penicunny. What else? Uh... What? <laughs> that's right. Now that's the kind of reaction I was hoping for. Uh, hold on a minute. Diamond picked you for this project? I, I was expecting someone like Opal or... Uh... Obsidian to handle it. At least someone higher than rank P46. Honestly, who knows? The family has some pretty questionable characters. If you ask me, doing business with them is a lost cause. But as we both know, the IPC does more than just business deals. Guess it's my time to shine. So, how about it? This is a rare opportunity. Consider it. You never know, you might even be able to make up for your blunder on your Rillo 6. I... <clears throat> I'll get back to you later. <sighs> Seems like it's just one wild ride after another. I hope I made the right decision this time. Oh! So cute! <laughs> the snow is mesmerizing. She says she hopes she made the right decision this time. Hmm. Okay. You know what? Maybe I was a little wrong about Topaz, you know? Because even with the whole thing of the call stuff, she wasn't being like... She wasn't being like, Oh, it's not my fault. I'm the one who got, like, tricked into it. Or some stupid bullshit she could have said. She didn't deny what happened there. She worked with it. And she didn't just jump on the offer for a new job immediately, also. Hey! Hmm. It's my first time on the Astral Express. I've heard quite a bit about the hospitality of the Nameless. Uh, shouldn't you be showing me around? You're right. My apologies. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Lighten up. I'm definitely not the first IPC staff member to board the Astral Express. I've heard that the IPC and the Nameless cooperated frequently when Akavili the Trailblazer was still around. I've also heard that the board once considered spending a fortune to buy out the Astral Express and to make it part of their business. However, all their offers were quickly declined. Just between you and me, I think declining the offers was a smart choice. Capital definitely plays a critical role in the universe, but if everything in the world revolved around it, then life would be a... A lot less romantic, don't you think? Hmm. Okay. All right, I understand. Okay. I get you. I say she's redeemed herself. You know. I mean, like. Yeah. I get it. I think that she has redeemed herself well. She understood what Bronnie was trying to say. She apologized for what she was doing wrong, and yeah, she did slap her boys on the wrist and give them a bit more problem and gave them a bit more punishment than the slap on the wrist for what they did. And, um, 
she didn't try and back down from her mistake that she made here. She didn't complain about it. She just took what she was given there. And when she was offered a new job, she didn't immediately jump on it. And she said that she hoped she made the right decision. So, yeah, I, I'd say that Topaz is... I, I, yeah. Redeemed, I guess. Also, th uh, this just came to mind. Um, see, it's kind of gone like this. Here. When the game came out, and we had our first special banners... The very first special banner of the game was Zila. When the game came out, I do believe, for console, I do believe Zila was the first rerun. Yeah? And then the second rerun was Blade? Or am I wrong? Oh shit, who is the- No, I mean, we got Kafka also on her rerun. Nah, I think I got this wrong. Who was... No, Blade, ha Blade definitely had to have had a rerun, didn't he? Because I'm pretty sure that when we've had a new character come around... Because Zila was right next to Jing Liu. And Silverwolf was alongside... Um, Argenti. Yeah, Silverwolf was alongside Argenti. And the one who is going to be, the one that is currently alongside Dr. Ratio is Kafka. And the one who is going to be alongside Black Swan is going to be Enviroder Lune. The one who is going to be alongside Sparkle is Jing Yuan. I think Wauchia will be, I think Wauchia was one of the reruns, or he's going to be a rerun after Jing Yuan. Which means that he will be a rerun alongside Archon, Archeon. And then Fushuen will be a rerun alongside uh, who, the other five-star character there. Because they seem to be doing a rerun alongside one of the uh, new character banners. Which means that after Fushuen rerun, I think they'll be doing a Jing, Jing Liu rerun. And then they will do a Huahua rerun. And then it will revert back to Sila rerun again. I'm imagining. No, because it has to go Ron May rerun. Then Dr. Ratio rerun. And then it would circle back to Zila. I think. In, in my opinion, they should skip the Dr. Ratio rerun and then circle back to Zila. And then they'll just go back down the line. No, they would have to do a Topaz and Numbi rerun, actually. And then Argenti. I don't know, I'm just trying to see how these reruns are going to work, because... Because Topaz has redeemed herself, I kind of would like to have gotten her. Anyway. Hello, is this Jupiter Free? Sorry, you got the wrong person. IPC, I don't speak with them. Wrong person. But the number here suggests otherwise. Anyway, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Wilder from the Interastal Peace Corporation Strategic Investment Department. I'm contacting you to recommend you a video game. What game? Game awesome! What game? I don't think I got that picture because you moved the damn thing way too fast. Oh, hold on. So I got a trophy when beating the quest. I gotta get rid of that picture. <laughs> it's that good. Hold on, I'm trying to... Now please allow me to get back to here. The game is called Athenium Wars. It's a galactic top tier... Top... It's that good? It's one of our blockbusters, after all. Athium Wars is a card collection game, but it's nothing like the ordinary trading card games you imagined. Here you can now use the IPC's cutting-edge ether copying technology to record any creature you've seen in, inside an ether coin, and then you can print them out and use them to compete against other players. Let your ether spirit f spirits fight for your glory. How's it sound? Pretty cool, right? Sounds fun. Why can't I play this game? 
<laughs> awesome. I finally got a new player for my favorite game. Anyway, if you're interested, feel free to come to Rivet Town Plaza in your room of six to try it for yourself. We'll be holding the International Tournament Festival, a great offline carnival for all Ethereum War, Ethereum War fans. Please do come and enjoy it. Be right there. Don't run off, I'll be there soon. I'll be waiting here for you. <laughs> let's go Ethereum Wars, aka let's go Pokemon! Okay, so. Yeah, this is the one I was waiting for. Discuss it with March. It's getting late. Where to now? Uh huh. Who's wilder? And what's Ethereum Wars? It's an ad for a game. Looks pretty cool. A game ad? Hmm. Using the IPC's cutting-edge ether copying technology, we can record any creature you've seen inside of an ether coin. Just print it out and compete against other players. Let your ether spirits fight for your glory. Oh, seems pretty neat, don't you think? I gotta say, sounds pretty cool. <laughs> right? I knew you were a gamer. Wanna check it out on the way? Let's do it. Awesome! I've heard that Stellaron Hunter Girl uses this kind of tech. Maybe we can see it in action. Huh. You know, of course we would see Silver Wolf do this. It's at the Rivet Town Plaza, right? Let's hit the road. There's no time like the present. Let us head on over. Whoops, wrong way. You boys just keep sitting there and burning. That uniform! Was it him that texted you? <laughs> I knew you'd come! Come on! Let's chat about Ethereum Wars! I've been playing it for 18 years, so ask me anything! I'll tell you everything I know! What kind of game is this exactly? Yeah! Can you give us an overview? Why, it'd be my pleasure! I could talk to you about Ethereum Wars all day! Ethereum Wars! The name says it all! It's a collectible card game that uses ether copying tech, and ether coins are what you use to play. Using an ether coin, players can store creatures they've encountered in the form of an ether, and then manifest them as ether spirits to battle against other players. Collect, battle, train, and upgrade. That's Ethereum War's motto. What's ether copying? I never expected the corporation to know anything about ether copying tech. I thought that was something only Punk Lordy and hackers could handle. <laughs> You're right. The technology itself originated from Punk Lord. But with the relentless efforts of the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild, we've also gained a basic understanding of how to edit ether. We might not be able to manipulate the data of reality as easily as those hackers can, but we're not far behind. I think it'd be better if the IPC avoided it. It sounds pretty dangerous. What's the Interastral Tournament Festival? Uh, you mentioned something about the Interastral Tournament Festival? What is that? Oh, great question! The festival is actually a tournament organized by the Ethereum Wars Gaming Association at the end of each season, and is open to players from across the universe. Gamers will come together to relax, share tips and tricks, and have a blast playing the game. However, due to Stellaron's blocking interstellar routes, the festival was changed to online attendance at the last minute. Nevertheless, for those who insist on attending in person, our offline venue is still open to them. Sounds like the association really cares about their players. How did you get my number? Uh, <laughs> well, that's... Uh, do we have to start an interrogation right now? I know the IPC aren't exactly our friends, but that's not just his fault. We want to try the game that's out. That's right! Any idea where we can give it a spin? 
Oh, I can't believe it. I finally managed to successfully promote the game. Uh, is it that difficult? Oh, wait, does this game suck? No, 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 of course not. It's just, as someone who's been playing this game for so long, I guess it's hard for those who haven't played it to understand. I swear on my reputation that this game is truly the best form of entertainment out there. I'll take the rap if you don't like it. There's no time to waste. Since you're both interested, let me take you to the festival service hall to register your accounts. This way. Ah, oh, the atmosphere here is so different now. It's so lively. <laughs> so you guys have been here before? The corporate. <laughs> no what worry, the? you won't find any weapon testing going on here. Take a look. This is where the International Tournament Festival will be held this year. Huh. The Ethereum Wars Gaming Association specifically chose this planet to help rejuvenate it and bring it up to date with the latest trends. Who the hell? Good, good. Everything is going according to plan. <laughs> oh boy, here's our villain. Is that... Mr. Giovanni, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I shouldn't go any further. I, I really shouldn't go any further. I need to... Oh, wait, I'm going to be stuck in this dialogue. Fuck. I, I gotta be doing this with Zack. <clears throat> Wilder. I was just wondering where you'd got to. Oh, and you brought along two beautiful young ladies. Welcome to my arena. If I'm not mistaken, you're the trailblazers, right? So, I presume you two have heard about the Interastral Tournament Festival. Have you come to show off your skills? <laughs> oh, psst. Look at his mask. Pretty cool, don't you think? Yo, mask face, introduce yourself. <laughs> Look at me, forgetting my manners. My name is Giovanni de Giorgio de Epsilon. A humble private trader from Epsilon and the sole sponsor of this year's Interastral Tournament Festival. <laughs> if there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for introducing yourself, Mr. Giovanni D. something something. You seem like a pretty important person. What brings you to this kind of place? Can I take your mask off so I can get a better look at you? <laughs> How humorous. As much as I'd like to oblige, this mask is a necessary precaution for me. Let's leave something to the imagination, shall we? Now, let me answer Ms. March's question. As you can see, the Interastral Tournament Festival is about to be held on this beautiful, icy planet. And as the sole sponsor of this event, it's only natural for me to come to the tournament venue and check on its operations. Furthermore, I'd also like to get to know the players of the tournament, including yourselves. One can never have too many friends when it comes to doing business in this uh, vast universe of ours. If you'd be willing to call me friend, it would be a great honor to have you as such. Oh, weird mask, strange vibes, a little out of touch, but he seems friendly enough, right? Nope, not with the name Giovanni. Something's off. Yeah, but he really doesn't seem like a bad guy. <laughs> I understand your sentiment. In that case, allow me to show you a little more sincerity. I believe Wilder has already filled you in on the Ethereum Wars, but if you have any questions about the Interastral Tournament Festival, I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Mr. Giovanni, let me take care of it. It's my job, after all. Don't worry, Wilder. It's only natural that I introduce the festival to my new friends here. You can go ahead and attend to other matters while I show these two around. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Giovanni. I'll be off then. Feel free to ask me about the Interastral Tournament Festival in the venue. Is there anything in particular you'd like to know? What is this place? Bellabog's Weapon Testing Ground. 
At least it was 700 years ago. While renovating this place, we stumbled upon quite a few automaton production lines, all covered in thick layers of dust. <laughs> Several hundred years ago, the people of Bellabog tested the performance of their combat automatons here. But now, under my sponsorship, the IPC and the Ethereum Wars Gaming Association have transformed this place into the competition venue for the tournament. In other words, this place is now my arena. I see. That's all I can share about that at the moment. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Is the festival going to be held here? Indeed. Have you seen the big circular platform down below? When the championship commences, this space will serve as the arena for Ethereum Wars players to showcase their skills and where they'll vie for supremacy. During the festival, you'll have the chance to mingle with players from all over the universe, share experiences, level up your ether spirits, and challenge each other. Ah, yes, my apologies. I should have mentioned this earlier, but because of the well-known Stellaron problem, many players won't be able to attend in person. So it's likely you'll mostly encounter familiar faces during the event. <laughs> hmm. How do I participate? It's simple. First, you need to register your account at a terminal in this festival service hall. Oh, you haven't created one, correct? After you've successfully created and registered your account, I'll delve into all the details of the festival. But for now, you'll have to deal with the suspense for just a little bit longer. Why do I have a feeling that you're up to something? <laughs> You've certainly got quite the active imagination. Rest assured, I'm just passionate about gaming. I love observing how players compete and cooperate with each other. <laughs> I have no hidden agendas, I can assure you of that. I swear on my reputation and my mass. Actually, no I have a question. You've been explaining a lot about the venue, but I'm still confused about the game. Can we actually give it a go? Why, of course, not a problem. I'll make an exception just for you. You can borrow my ether spirits and experience the thrill of battle. Hmm. What's all the commotion? Hey! Oh, you little brat! Who said you could touch this? Huh. But, but, but this is mine! I found it on the ground! Hey, that's enough! Picking on a kid, are we? Uh, outworlder lady! Careful! They're dangerous! Don't sweat it. Leave them to us. I say, my IPC friends, I can see how captivated you are by that coin. Am I right in assuming that you're also Ethereum Wars players? <laughs> Where did that masked dude come from? And what does it have to do with you, whether I'm a player or not? I can hear Elizabeth Maxwell in there. Exactly! What's it to you, sneaking around with a mask on? You must be some kind of creep. <laughs> what I'm getting at is this. Since you're both players, why not have a showdown to settle the matter? Following the proper rules of the game, of course. But instead of this young boy, I propose that these two young ladies be the challengers. Might use this for a thumbnail later. If they lose, the coin will naturally become yours. And you can do as you wish with it. But if you lose, I would kindly ask that you gracefully accept defeat and refrain from causing any more trouble in my arena. Are we all in agreement? How about I use a bat to resolve our differences? Yo, I love that smuggler. Ahem. <clears throat> I wouldn't advise it. 
Violence wouldn't make for a very interesting outcome, now would it? This guy almost sounds like Arden from Final Fantasy XV. Let's all agree to keep things peaceful and enjoyable. Yeah, Mr. Giovanni is right. Now's our chance to check out this game and see if it lives up to the hype. Here are a few beginner level ether spirits for you. They'll help you get the hang of the game's pace and rules. If you have trouble handling these beginner spirits, it might indicate that this game isn't the best choice for you. You've got some nerve. You're in for a rude awakening. Prepare to face the might of Topaz's support squad. I can't back out. <laughs> Bro, I can't back out. If I am able to get out of this, I will actually continue doing this at a probably tomorrow or something i kind of want to have zach watch this with me so um yeah i think i'll finish this up tomorrow i think i'll go record some assassin's creed 3.